Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today we're going to talk about intersecting. So we've looked at solid tools in the past. Um, we've looked at drawing lines. We've, we've looked at some different ways to break geometry that intersects with other geometry. There is a command in the context menu, which is the right-click menu, where you right-click on geometry, that is intersect with. And we're going to take a look at when, where, how, why to use that command right now. All right, so I have a couple pieces of geometry right here. I have this extruded cube and this sphere. So these two geometries just kind of cross over each other. Um, they are doing some sticky stuff. So they're actually connecting at some points in geometry. Uh, but what is not happening is these faces, see this face right here and this face right here, they're not broken. So there's not a line between them. You can see where they intersect if I move my mouse along these, the edge right here, but I don't actually have a physical edge. It's not actually broken. Uh, so how can I get that to happen? So rather than have this kind of looks like an ugly smooth intersection, get that sharp crisp line that I want where they intersect. What I can do is I can do a group select. So I'm gonna go ahead and select everything. And then I'm gonna right click and go to intersect faces and I'm going to choose with selection and boom there look at that right away what happens is where these faces hit I get a line with that intersection and that geometry is now broken so this this piece is actually so if I was to grab this piece right here use move and then use my modifier key option on Mac control on Windows to slide a copy over I can see this face was actually broken all the way across there where it intersected with the sphere. All right, let's look at some other options here. Because when you right click, you can have up to three options in that intersect with submenu. So let's see how some more of those work. So if I look at this, I have these two, two uh, again, cube and a sphere overlapping each other, but they're in groups. So this is in one group, this is a separate group. If I select these two groups, right click, and they go to intersect faces, you can see I have the option of intersect with selection or intersect with model. Uh, in this case, they're gonna do the same thing. So I'm just gonna choose intersect with model and uh, look what happens. See, I got that line right where the two meet, but here's the interesting part. Because these two are both in groups, that line, if I move this one vertically up out of the way, and I'm move this one back, you can see that line is where the two pieces intersected, but that geometry itself is not actually part of the sphere or the cube group. I'm gonna undo a couple times to get back. I'm gonna undo again to get rid of that line. If I want either of those pieces to actually intersect and give me that cutting line, say I wanna chop this sphere off where it meets uh, this piece right here, what I can do is I can go into the group, I can double click to come into the circle, or I'm sorry, the sphere, I can right click, I can say intersect faces, and here I have the option with model. That says anything in the entire model crosses over this face, show me where it intersects. I can say with context. With context says anything that is inside the current group, go ahead and break it. Or I can say with selection. So only the things are selected. Well, if I look at this model right now, if I was to say intersect with selection, the only thing selected is this face, so it's gonna tell me Oh, can't find anything to intersect with. Uh, same thing is going to go for intersect with, with context. There's nothing else in the context of this uh, group that I have. So it's going to tell me the same thing. Nothing to intersect with. However, if I right click and say intersect face with model, it's going to find this cube down here and then break this piece right here. So if I was to take this and move it over now, I'd see, oh, it did actually break that cute or break that sphere. And if I wanted to, I could actually come in, delete that half, and I would be down to just half a sphere at that point. Put that right back on top. So you can see these are the situations where you might want to try to intersect. This is pretty nice. We have, like I said, we talked about solid tools. Solid tools are nice, but it does require solids. Any of these things, any of these pieces I intersected could just be single planes. They could be portions of solids. It could be just about anything. As long as there's a face there, 
you can intersect. I can't cut a face at an edge, but it will cut any place another face crosses it using intersect with. So that was high level, that was pretty basic, but I wanna show what those three different intersect with options. Context, model, selection. It's nice because you can use those different commands and actually control pretty, pretty granularly exactly what geometry you want to intersect with what other geometry. So if you haven't used it already and you've ever always wondered, oh, my, my geometry just laps through each other and it's just white where the two pieces cross over, I wanna get that line, intersect with is the thing that will get that for you. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos every week, including one of these square ones, and you'll be notified of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment down below. Have you ever had a situation where you had to use a command like this and didn't know what it was? What other things do you think would make good square one videos? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.